Officers, I'm a Nevada ambassador for Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. I'm also a mom, a grandmother, a retired teacher, and I'm now a family therapist. And yes, just like all these folks here behind me, I am also an American who is tired of the carnage that people who should not have guns are causing in our nation today. As a beginning teacher's aide at Head Start, many more years than I want to tell you, I did not have anxiety about someone storming into my classroom and taking the lives of my tiny students. I have that worry now. As a high school teacher at Basic High School right here in Henderson, Nevada, and as an instructor at UNLV, I did not have a realistic worry about my students and myself being ambushed by someone with a military-style weapon. I have that very realistic worry today. As a therapist who has worked with the families of the victims of gun violence, whether it is accidental, suicidal, or murder, I recognize one striking fact. Guns make killing too easy, especially for individuals who are mentally unstable or who have demonstrated violent tendencies. We have to demand more effective laws, and the only way to do that is to keep contacting the people who are in charge of passing those laws, our legislators. This is not as impossible as it seems. As Erica, as, as Bob, and as Teresa just finished talking about, mayors and moms, after announcing their merging in December, we've made huge strides. With social media, such as Facebook, we've changed their policies regarding illegal gun postings on their site. They garnered 230,000 supporters. That's all of us behind here and a whole lot more. Also in the past month, as Erica was talking about, Washington and Wisconsin passed new legislation. This legislation is going to help keep guns out of the hands of domestic abusers. As Teresa mentioned, we are high on that list of domestic violence with guns, and we want to get off that list. Mayors Against Illegal Guns and Moms Demand Action, every town. We are one of those every towns. We can do this if we continue to let our legislators know that we will not let them put their special interests ahead of our children. Almost to the day a year ago, a minority, and I repeat, a minority of U.S. Senators blocked new legislation that would have required comprehensive background checks for gun purchases. They did this despite almost unanimous, over 90% public support. Again, it was a minority. Our own Senator Harry Reid, the Majority Leader of the Senate, supports passing better gun violence prevention laws, and we are so grateful for his support. Moms Demand Action knows that it is up to the moms, the dads, the grandparents, aunts and uncles, everyone, all of you here, to stand up and speak out. Will you be doing that? Yes! To make our children, our families, and our communities safer our passion and our refusing to be influenced and intimidated by the wealthy and powerful gun industry lobbyists are the only ways that we will get stronger, more effective laws passed. So all of you, please keep calling, emailing, and knocking on the doors of our senators and representatives. We will get the laws changed city by city, state by state, until they listen to us. We will not end this struggle until we have laws that make it more difficult for a person to buy a gun illegally and easier to send our children. We have many children here. This is my granddaughter right here holding the sign that says, Save Our Children from Gun Violence. She's one of the reasons that I am here today. We want to make it more difficult to buy that gun and easier to send our children off to school, church, or the mall without the paralyzing fear that we will never see them again. So again and again, we will ask our legisl legislators, are you protecting the gun lobby or are you protecting our children? Their answers will equal our, equal our decisions when we go into that voting booth. We are organized, we are more determined, and we are more energized than ever. We will not settle for less, and together we can do this. We are every town. We have 1.5 million supporters. We are moms, mayors, survivors, and everyday Americans. We are fighting for reforms that respect the Second Amendment and, and protect people. Thank you for your continued support, and thank you everyone for being here today.